Hey, what's up? This is our second installment of Thursday Updates. Um, it is April the 18th, and um, I'm broadcasting live from Casa del Partridge, my house. We have workers working on our floors, so I uh, have been here all day. Uh, so, let's get right to it. Uh, we obviously did not meet last night uh, due to all of the inclement weather in the area. Uh, but that doesn't mean we can't have a good Thursday update because we've got lots to discuss, um, lots of events and things coming up, and a lot of things that we need to be praying for. Uh, first off, I know many of you are aware of the horrible tragedy that occurred in Boston uh, with the bombings at the Boston Marathon. I uh, just want to uh, remind you that we need to be fervently praying for all of the people involved up there um, and really all of those that are impacted just emotionally around the world. Um, when when a, an event of terror occurs, uh, it strikes us sometimes and it, um, it makes us uneasy. Uh, and our prayer should really be for, for comfort and peace for people um, that we could hold on to the truth that God is really there with us uh, and that we could find hope in that in a fallen world uh, and through all the pain that exists. We also want to lift up um, the explosion that occurred in a small community in Texas in West uh, Texas, which is uh, just a little bit outside of Waco, so I'm familiar with that um, with that small town as well. Um, but just all of the devastation that occurred there, and how those people are fighting for for their homes uh, and um, everything that goes along with that. They there were lives that were lost. There were many people that in, were injured, and we just pray that the um, workers that are coming in and offering relief and the volunteers that they would be effective, uh, that they could um, give them some relief, um, but that we continue to pray for, for comfort and God's presence there and that those people would be aware uh, that there's hope even though it doesn't seem like it at the moment. Um, so lots to be praying about. Uh, I want to remind you of a couple of things. First of all, Sunday we're going through the book of Jeremiah, uh, so you'll want to be there on Sunday mornings for that. It's a very interesting book, a uh, very interesting story, lots of lessons for us. And then next Wednesday, we will start our Man of Steel series. Uh, of course, you may know the movie Man of Steel is coming out. I'm personally excited for it. I bet you are too. Uh, but with that, we're going to look at our Man of Steel. Uh, you see, Superman is often used as an analogy and it, uh, for us to springboard and to talk about Jesus. Um, and so we're going to talk about Jesus. We're going to talk about his life. We're going to talk about things that went on with him. So you'll definitely want to be there on Wednesday nights for that. Upcoming events. First off, movie auditions, May the 4th. Uh, you'll want to be there. We're having the auditions from 2 to 5, but you'll want to sign up with me for a 10-minute time slot in that time range. You don't have to come and stay the whole time. Uh, you can sign up for a time, so it could be 2 o'clock. And you would just tell your mom or your dad or uh, whoever's bringing you, say, hey, come, drop me off, drive around the block, come back. Uh, 10 minutes, it'll be done really easy. No pressure at all. Everybody that auditions is going to have some sort of part in the movie. Uh, this is just for me to kind of gauge interest. What do you want to do in the movie? Do you want to be a big role? Do you want to be a small role? Do you want to be a happy person? Do you want to be a mean person? Do you want to be somebody that's funny? Or do you want to work behind the camera? Uh, all of those are options. So you'll let me know that. We'll have a small audition. No pressure at all. And then we'll get uh, working on the movie in the summer. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a great movie. So I want you all to participate in that. And then we have a fundraiser coming up May the 10th. This is also fun for y'all. It's North Haven Prom. Uh, we're going to be putting on a prom for the whole church. Uh, from everything from little kids to big adults. Um, not big people, but, you know, older adults. Uh, so, we're going to be publicizing that. You're going to need this to help you pay for camp. So, you're going to want to get with me so that we can figure out who's going to be serving food, who's going to be running food, who's going to help set up, who's going to help te tear down, all of those things. And we're going to uh, help fill your accounts so that you can pay for camp a little bit easier. But, hey... The prom is going to be a blast, so you're also going to want to invite some friends to come and participate in that, and that will be a lot of fun for you. Hey, that's all of the events that we have coming up right in the near future, uh, but I always want to do a couple of giveaways and things, so first up, I'm going to do a lunch for a person and a friend in North Haven. We'll, we'll pay for it. Um, and the trivia for you, and this may require a Bible because I don't think many of you are going to know this, but we're just going to go with the 75th word in the NIV version of Scripture. Uh, you share that on Facebook, on Twitter with me. You can text me, call me, whatever. Um, and you will win 
lunch with friend. If you're a middle schooler, we'll figure it out. It may be in the summer. We may see if I can come into the school. Whatever. That'll be great. One more. Um, we're going to go with who is my personal favorite country musician. And if you get this one, uh, you're going to win a North Haven Student Ministry USB bracelet. If you already have one, sorry about you. Um, you can still play, but then you just want to give it to somebody. So, great. This has been Thursday Updates. Make sure you share this with your friends because I want all of them to know what's going on. So maybe perhaps if they want to, wanted to be part of our community, they could be. Uh, also, make sure you check back every week and watch it because I'm always going to have giveaways and updates. Cool. See you later.